if I'm trying to create a scenario that is going to make my timing the easiest in order to hit it straight, which one of those positions are you going to choose? Well, 100% of the time, they go, well, probably the one closest to playing with a square face. I go, yeah, bingo. Because if you're overplaying with an open face, can you hit it straight? Yes, you can. You actually can. But in order to do it, you are going to have to have... Elite, elite athleticism. Or a lot of compensation. <laughs> yes. The answer I was looking for, both of those are true. Our last second manipulation through the hitting zone. Think about it. When the club's traveling the fastest and you're in a reactive state where you've got to uh, create extra motion due to the uh, where the club was out of position, well, yeah, that's hard to repeat. And when you're under pressure, it's going to get worse, I promise you. You know, there's this, whole, there's this book out there talking about choking in general. We won't go into that today. But they say choking doesn't exist. You're a, you're a victim of your weakest link, right? So under pressure, the weakest link is going to break. So therefore, if you have extra compensations that are resulting in last second manipulation to the hitting zone, AKA the flip, all you guys have heard of the flip, I'm sure if you're listening to this podcast. Well, in a lot of cases, guys, that flip's required. It's the same reason you hit good and bad shots. 